Welcome Diksha who was selected in Flipkart Runway program that is an internship program for basically second year students and she has also received SDA internship from Flipkart only. So Diksha let's start this with your introduction. Hi everyone. Thanks Upasana for having me here. I am Diksha Pandey uh, presently in my third year pursuing BTEC in information technology from IGDTOW and I will be the uh, upcoming summer intern at Flipkart. Congratulations, Diksha. Let's start this video. So first coming to what is basically Flipkart Runway program? Uh, so Flipkart Runway is an early career internship program for all the women engineers and it provides a necessary career boost and uh, enlightenment towards the technical space. Okay, Diksha. Next coming to who were all eligible for this program? So, uh, since it's an uh, internship opportunity for second years, all the women engineers uh, who are in their second year for the four-year course of UG or in the third year of their dual degree program were eligible for this internship and there were no constraints regarding the branch or CGPA. Uh, also, can you specify some of the platforms where we can um, get the internships uh, or hackathons opportunities? Unstop is one such great platform which posts about the internship and the hackathon opportunities. Other than that, you can find some opportunities on LinkedIn as well. And there are multiple technical groups uh, which do post about them in our college specifically. Okay, Diksha. Next coming to um, like uh, how many rounds were there in their selection criteria? Was there any DSC based round? So in total, there were three rounds for the Flipkart Runway program. First one was the screening round, the quiz round, which happened on the Unstop platform only. There were 20 questions, which had to be answered in 30 minutes. And the topics that were asked in it, uh, it may include from the core concepts of operating system, DBMS or OOPS. And the other pattern of questions that I had in my uh, quiz screening round were output prediction or the complexity analysis or the code debugging so question ranged in around these categories after the quiz screening round the results were announced in three to four days after it uh, there were two technical rounds so both of them being eliminatory in its nature the difficulty level of first technical round was uh, lead code level questions of easy to medium i would say and for the second round they were from medium to hard Next coming to like what happened after DSA round, did you face any interviews or a second technical round was the final round. Whoever cleared it uh, were given the internship offers itself. There was no HR round. So the I would say the second year opportunity of this Flipkart runway is purely based on your DSA knowledge. When you had selection ho gaya tha in internship, mein, so uske baad aapko kya perks mile and uh, जो भी लाइक ट्रेनिंग होती है आपकी या फिर आपने कोई प्रोजेक्ट्स बनाएंगे तो वो फेज आपके लिए कैसा था एंड उसमें क्या क्या लाइक है व्हाट हैपेंड टॉकिंग अबाउट माय टू मंथ इंटर्नशिप इट प्रोवाइडेड मी an exceptionally good platform to explore the technical domains that were completely new to me and i had never heard of them uh, second thing i would say it enhanced my skill set and it provided the right amount of boost to the resume also I got the opportunity to be mentored by exceptionally talented individuals that contributed to both my professional and personal growth. And uh, yeah, I would say it was a wonderful experience for me and it provided the exposure to the corporate world at this point that that's really great. Um, like you received a PPI after this program. So, जब पीपीआई मिला आपको तो उससे पहले आपके कोई इंटरव्यूज हुए थे लाइक like आपका कोई डीएसए बेस्ड ओए हुआ होगा फॉर पर्टिकुलरली दिस समर ब्रेक इंटर्नशिप नो देयर वाज नो ओए और डीएसए बेस्ड इंटरव्यू बेस्ड अपॉन आवर परफॉर्मेंस ड्यूरिंग दिस इंटर्नशिप वी वर प्रोवाइडेड दीस ऑफर्स सो ड्यूरिंग दिस 2 मंथ इंटर्नशिप देयर वाज अ मिड इंटर्न इवैल्यूएशन एंड आल्सो टुवर्ड्स द एंड देयर वाज अ फाइनल प्रेजेंटेशन टू बी गिवन बाय ईच ऑफ द इंटर्न 
so the do's and don'ts for specifically about flipkart and where i would say uh, the questions and the interview selection is purely based on your dsa knowledge so do prepare the basic fundamental concepts of dsa and if you are able to cover up till graphs then it would be enough i don't think that uh, questions related to tries would be asked but do prepare well till graphs concept and uh, while you are presenting the solutions move it in a manner that firstly you'll present a brute then better then optimize then also uh, provide a complexity analysis because it adds on to the value then apart from flipkart uh, in generic i would say in terms of the resume selection cgpa has its own role to play do not ignore it um, because i have seen of all the companies that visited our college 8.5 was the highest mark that was required so i would say ki kabhi bhi cgpa ko compromise mat karo kyunki do not miss out on the opportunities only because you don't have a decent cgpa and in my opinion uh, 8 is a good cgpa 8.5 would be a, the safest cgpa so do put in efforts to maintain it it is not that difficult to maintain a decent cgpa usko bhi utna importance do and it shows a lot about how dedicatedly you are putting in efforts to maintain that consistency uh, a good 10th percentage 12th percentage followed by a decent cgpa shows that you are committed to provide excellent work and i would say this and um, third tip would be while you are answering the questions in the interview and uh, like towards the end of every interview you have to ask some questions to interviewer itself so do a little bit research about the company for which you are going to appear and prepare those questions beforehand uh, and uh, other than that uh, for the resumes uh, maintain a resume that's of one page itself do not extend it to other pages and do highlight the skills that are a match or requirement for the job that you are applying for and all the projects and the points that you are mentioning on uh, your resume do prepare them well there should be a match between the things that are present on your resume and what you are speaking so that's it. that's it from my side